Hey guys, John with Off Grid Homesteading. Just wanted to show you some progress. So we've been down for a little while. Uh, probably about the last month or so, we've just been dealing with a lot of issues and stuff out here um, with uh, Kelly's mom and hospital and hospice. She's now in hospice care. So we're actually having to take care of her basically, you know, 24 hours a day. Um, and some days are better, some days are worse. And bottom line is, it's just, you know, being interrupted every 5, 10 minutes. Um, uh, to have to do something to help her out and stuff has not been very conducive to continuing the build. And um, so anyway, uh, let me show you what we've gotten completed so far to give you an update on the homestead. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay, I got all of the upper pieces and triangles and stuff completed. Um, the only one section that I have left to complete is just this one little section right here. Uh, so I'm going to work on that here in just a little bit, and after that I get to do some work outside. So here's what everything looks like so far. Everything's pre-wired inside this section here for Dolby Atmos, and we're going to have a, 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 a screen, a, a movie screen that's going to actually come from there all the way to about right here, which is about 10 feet wide and we'll have the projector and stuff sitting up here right by this plug. So all of the wires from here actually go down and they come out out here. You can see it. I can't see it. It's too far out. But um, we are getting ready to have the um, uh, the addition out there. The mudroom um, did a, uh, a deal with a guy who is going to be uh, building that for us here and just uh, starting this weekend if everything goes well. Here's the master bedroom. So there you go. And then we're going to come back over here to the other side. I have to flash one of our windows a little bit better. We had a little bit of water and stuff come in uh, through some torrential rains with this major uh, storm we had. And uh, so I'm going to have to work on that. But here's the back bedroom. Right there. And we're going to have uh, some sort of a panel over here that opens um, to this upper area. I'm going to be putting the drop ceiling here into the bathroom, but there'll be an open area where we can access our venting systems um, and uh, the things we need to, to get our uh, ventilation um, uh, things in place for the uh, ceiling fan, for our whole house fan, for the bathroom vents and all that kind of stuff. We are getting there, so all I have left to, to do, oh, there's a lot of stuff left to do. We have to determine whether we want the kitchen in a kind of a U-shaped format. Kelly would still like to have an island here and have our, um, you know, some lights and stuff drop uh, over the island uh, for the space. So we're just uh, still contemplating that. Um, we've got the orifice kit coming for our natural gas stove so we can convert that to propane. And then we haven't figured out actually what to do with this corner space yet. Um, that's kind of up in the air. We're formulating that. And then we're probably going to do... Uh, if we can get granite and stuff for the counters, that'd be awesome. But um, if we can't, we might do concrete counters uh, or something of the like. So there's that. Oh, and they also have to tie in... Uh, we've got to tie in all of our uh, bathroom uh, stuff here. No, the toilet hasn't been, the hole for the um, uh, sewer line or whatever hasn't, hasn't been dug, and the, um, uh, what do you call it, the drains and the fixture hasn't been bought for that. So we'll get that here uh, probably in the next week or two and get that going. We did get our door in. This we picked up off of Craigslist in the Tulsa market. And one of our friends actually uh, brought that over to us uh, for Kelly's birthday here, and um, which is pretty awesome. And that door 
is a 32 inch door and that's going to go pretty much right here in this 35, 36 inch space and it's going to open, I believe we're going to be opening this way because that way is where the um, uh, our uh, wood stove is going to be. So that is it for now. Oh, let me show you one more thing. Sorry. Out here, our mudroom is going to extend to about where that beam is. And on this side, it's going to extend to about where this beam is. So six feet out, which is not all the way out there, probably here. And then it's going to go 20 feet down uh, to this section here. We'll have five piers, uh, looks like uh, probably across here. There'll be a, um, a four by four landing that's gonna come out here and the set of, set of steps that will come off that door. Anyway, thanks for watching our build so far. Thanks for looking at the updates. And we will try to do some more videos here soon. Uh, just got a lot of manual labor stuff that's gonna be coming up in terms of uh, digging our uh, septic lines and things like that and putting in uh, our septic system over there and running our water lines uh, and our electric lines and everything back to the um, uh, back to the uh, uh, water system back over there because the minute we tie in the water system back there all of that, those components and filtering systems are going to be brought into the mudroom when the mudroom is completed. So, thanks again. Catch you later.